Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Sorry it's been a little while since I've recorded. A lot of stuff going on in my life, but uh, that aside, let's have a look at what we're doing here. So, first thing we're going to do is look at the star map, and it does not look good. Does not look good at all. So, Jade Falcon is gone from the inner sphere, and we'll leave it at that. So, <laughs> that being said, I thought, you know, we're getting close to the end of the series. Um, the new uh, DLC has dropped, so... That's going to happen very shortly. Hopefully they can port uh, Rotec over. I know it's going to break saves and everything, and I fully expected that. I wanted to start the new series with the new DLC, so hopefully we're going to be doing that this weekend. We'll see what happens uh, with Rotec and stuff, how quickly it gets ported over. But um, I thought we would take a, um, a uh, Flashpoint today. Um, it's against Clan Ghostbear, I believe, or against the clans anyway. Um, so we jumped over here. Now, uh, the other thing too is I sold off, um, in storage, I sold off all of the old mechs we had, and had made over 12 million, 12 or 14 million sea bills or something, and got the king crab and the Zeus up and running. Now, I thought I would try a couple of things with them that I've ne haven't really tried in the past, uh, and no, it's not pirate weapons. Um, so let's have a look at them real quick here. Um, I'm going to start with the Zeus, uh, only because I I wanted to keep the Zeus cockpit, I really did, but because of the way I've got it loaded out, it just didn't work, so I, <laughs> anyway, I'm sure people are going to be like, wow, it's a great cockpit, and it is, it is a great cockpit for that mech, but not for what I wanted to use it for. Uh, right now, we're kind of at the end of the series, so I just wanted to try out some weird-ass builds, so this guy is going to be our new art artillery mech, um, and... So what I did is I threw an arrow system on one side and a thumper artillery on the other. Uh, it's got a medium pulse laser as backup, but it's designed to not get close to the enemy at all. We've also got an LRM-5 here with uh, some NARC and chaff ammo, so it can help out. But I was only able to get one ton of uh, regular arrow, one ton of inferno, one ton of fast cam in here, which is 15 turns of firing. It's plenty of firing. And we got... Um, 16 turns of firing with the thumper so this guy's not going to run out of ammo in any battles that we're in so the thumper is really designed to do the primary damage the arrow really isn't so i wasn't really concerned about having just the regular arrow uh, not very much regular arrow ammo we're going to mostly be using probably the fast cam and the inferno ammo on the enemy um, and also hitting them with a the chaff and arc for the guys we want to target the thumper will be doing the aoe damage um but in order to make this sort of viable and actually be able to hit people, I had to change things around a bit. So the Zeus X po cockpit is a breacher with uh, plus one accuracy. Um, it, it's also got minus one recoil, but I needed the indirect fire accuracy. So I went with just a regular uh, indirect fire um, fire control system with, for plus four accuracy, which is going to help out. And then the Zeus X cockpit, well, it gives us initiative and minus 10% damage taken since we're not in the front lines. I figured using the uh, enhanced imaging with the recoil reduction, since we're losing it here, uh, and the accuracy bonus will definitely be helpful. Um, so we can get, when we accurate, we'll activate this, we can get an extra, like, extra little bit of accuracy as well, um, and bonus initiative and evasion things if we need to get away from enemies. So having the plus two initiative too is, is nice as well, so that's going to help out. And then the sensors tracker, really just because I wanted to get the plus one with ranged weapons. Um, the regular prototype command computer um, gave us a um, a C3 system, but we, we wanted to use the um, the Nova CEWS here, which is way better than that. Uh, so that's why I put the sensor tracker in. That way I can use the Nova, because if I didn't put something in here, I wouldn't be able to use Nova, unfortunately. It's just the way the cockpit works. So the minus 50% on reduced sensors with this is definitely going to be needed. Um, and also having that ECM bubble to help our guys out at the back. Uh, so yeah, and then this guy's, this guy's just going to sit back and, and shoot from a distance. So that's kind of the whole plan behind this one. Obviously got the XL engine at 300 core. It's 5.8 speed, so it's pretty much the same speed as the rest of our mechs, uh, which is good. And then I put an uh, integrated laser AMS system in. Um, just because it fires 15 shots, uh, it generates 6 heat. I'm okay with that. Um, our heat is not the best on here. Um, 75, 88, um, but we do, uh, we're not going to be firing the medium pulse, so that'll drop, and we have a heat bank to help out, so, you know, and of course, case on both sides, and that's this, and then let's have a look at the king crab, now the king crab, um, I thought about going ultra 20s, but I've only got one inner sphere ultra 20, actually, before we go any further, let's just change the, uh, 
Whoops. Why the hell? That was bizarre. Wow, that's uh, pretty crazy. Just want to try and find a good pattern. I meant to do that before the episode started, but I didn't do that. And I, you know, got to have a good look. Okay, so we're going to go over the crazy pattern. Because why not? We're tiger. Err. All right, so uh, where did the king crab go? It's over here. All right. Um, this guy barely has anything you can see in, on him, so I'm, I'm fine with this camouflage pattern. Not that it's really camouflage for a king crab, but whatever. Uh, so let's have a look at this guy. So this mech, we got the chameleon LPS, which we couldn't swap out, which is fine. So I thought I would go ballistic build on this guy. Um, and I don't have ultra 20s, but I did have ultra 10s. I had two of them, or sorry, I had three of them. So I put two of those in, and a pair of ultra 5s as well. And we've got just over 10 turns of firing with each one. Uh, 15 turns of firing with the Ultra 5s, and I think 11 turns each with the Ultra, or 11 turns with one, and 10 turns with the Ultras. Uh, we've got the TTS Ballistic in here, Fire Control System Advanced Ballistic, so more uh, accuracy. We only have one weapon mount, so I could only drop one of those, and unfortunately, I only had a comm suite left for the um, cockpit, so that's all we could be able to put in here. Plus one initiative is nice, plus two resolve gain is nice, so I'm not going to knock it. Uh, we've got the R12 sheath beacon. I can't swap that out, unfortunately, so we're kind of stuck with that, but the plus one initiative is nice. Double XL engine in here, because we needed, we need definitely needed the uh, weight for sure. Uh, regular XL clan engine in here. Engine core, uh, 330 to give us half decent speed with uh, plus three e-cooling. Now this gives us a 5.8 speed as well. Oh, sorry, 4.7, so it's still not bad. Um, won't be able to go as fast as everybody else, but you know. And then our backup weapons here are ER pulse lasers, uh, medium pulses. I, I was going to put a large in, and I thought, no, nah, you know, medium ER pulses would, pe would, would kind of be nice. Um, they got a 560 meter range, but uh, that puts it in the same range roughly as these guys here. So, um, you know, we can use those as often as possible. Heat efficiency is actually not that bad, um, 81, 82. Uh, and we have the exchanger here, so that works. Clan Endo. Uh, regular double heat sink kit and that pretty much rounds this guy off. So yeah, I'm hoping that uh, this works out okay. I'm interested to see what the sustained damage is going to be. Um, we do have a fair bit of re recoil reduction here. We got three recoil reductions. So I'm hoping that compensates for this. It's three recoil on each arm. Um, minus four recoil on this side, minus three on this side. So uh, hoping we don't get any recoil problems uh, or jamming issues, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so that's that one. Now, let's take this mission. Um, I thought about, actually, let's go to the barracks to see if there's anything else, else going on. It's been a couple of months, so I want to see if anything's going on with our mech warriors. So I, I thought about not running Mockingbird uh, just to keep her alive till the end of the series. You. But you want to know something? Uh, that would be um, not very good for her. We, everybody, everybody, um, everybody fights, nobody quits. Right? So, we're all going into battle. I don't need to apply anything to you. You're the backup. Ah, Griff doesn't quite have enough. Hannibal, Judge. Um, well, save her for piloting. I mean, we don't have much left, but... Rhino, six-pack. Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, you're right. We're good to go. Alright, so let's take this mission here. Flashpoint. Alright, so, it's basically a, a clan scout galaxy. Um, we're just going to say it's Ghost Bear. They helped uh, Comstar get rid of Jade Falcon. So, you know, let's uh, take these guys on. Um, Commander Griffin. The clan is the, a barge bounty up. They claim to be, what? Unknown assailants. They claim to be clanners. Um, Okay. Multi-part, you know, if you negotiate it, we'll be fighting across the world in several locations. Government I mean, details beyond that. Here, take a look. Well, show me. Um, Clan Scouts, okay. These climbers have no mercy, and they have about driven us underground at this point. Difficult to handle, eh? Well, 
Not that difficult. All right, I have no idea what we're going to be up against here. So it's four skull. I'm going to let the I'm going to let the secondary lance go first. So we're going to pull these guys out. And they have been working hard. So uh, let's give them the new mechs. Let's give these guys the new mechs. Uh, we want to bring the Black Knight, I think. And I want to go with the ATM loadout, I think, on this one. I thought about bringing the Grasshopper again with the three PPCs. But let's go with the ATM loadout. Because why not? All right, Hannibal the Cannibal, get in there. Uh, we need to get Avalanche. We want to put you in the Exterminator, right? Yes, because you can move quickly. Uh, we've got Gaucho, and we've got... God, it's been a few days. All right, so... Uh, and Judge, right. So, Judge, let's get you into the Zeus. And Gaucho, you can have the Black Knight. Right? Yeah, PPC, two larges, and a bunch of pulses, right? Yeah, I think we've got good firepower here. Let's just deploy and get this done. All right. Spellings don't spot a group of climbers near this location, eh? Oh, okay, this map. I don't mind this one. Green, unseasoned pilots commander. It should be easy for you to defeat them. Needs intel. I'll be recording this fight for broadcast. Put on a good show. Give him the business. We always give the enemy the business. We can give him the business. Alright, so as we go here, um, just want to say thank you for all the great comments. Um, I really, really love comments. I really appreciate them. I try to get to everybody's comment. If I missed your comment, once again, I apologize. I do try to read everybody's comment. I do put a like and a, and a heart on everybody's comment when I read it. Um, and so if I've missed your comment, I apologize. And you know what? Please post again uh, because, you know, hopefully I'll be able to see it the second time. Or just make a comment on it. It's like, hey, you missed this one or something like that. Um, let's just move up slowly. I don't know what we're up against yet. So that being said, there was a comment about um, having the option for... Um, sort of like a sandbox um, I've got eyes on lupus, eh? Of course they are. Uh, so having a like a sandbox mech building, um, this doesn't look like look like second liners. Um, so having a sandbox um, mech building um, area where like a mech design area where you can just design mechs. Um, and I think that's a fantastic idea. Um, but I, I'm going to go one step further. I think what they should do is they should design that um, so that you can design mechs, right any way. mech. So like if even if you don't have a king crab, oh, sheesh. Even if you don't have a king crab, you could design a king crab, right? But you should be able to save your builds, right? So let's say I've got, um, you know, let's, let's take the king crab for example. I got a king crab, right? And I want to be able to use it. Um, is this guy going to be in range with everything? I wish we would give you like a range indicator of how many meters this is. Um, but let's say you build a king crab. Um, ooh, kill that lupus. That's not a good positioning, is it? Let's just reserve and see what they do. I want them to get a little closer here. Um, so you build your king crab. You should be able to save the uh, the blueprint. Then when you have all the pieces... Why are they not moving? Maybe the rest of these guys can't see me. Do we go phantom mech on this and sprint up? How far can we get? Not very far. So I take that back. We can get far, just not far enough. How far can we go over here? Hmm. Okay, we got eyes. This is a Nova Cat. 
Eyes on now. So can we go HE? Let's just go this route. So yeah, once you've saved your builds, right? Um, if you have all the components, you should be able to go, you should be able to click on it and say build mech, and then it'll automatically drop it into your, your mech bay, Good right? So if, if you have all the components, you know, you should just be able to go ahead and build it. Ah, God damn it. I don't want to be in the open for this. Do I want to even sprint? It's only giving me like one extra hex. It's not really that worth it. Uh, but this is definitely a warlord time. Let's hammer this guy. Yes. Yes. What, some more? Huh? I don't think he does. Yeah, Commander. Um, yeah, so, you know, you should just be able to click and say, yeah, go for it. And it, ooh, we don't want to move you in too far. Let's not put you in a position where there's any of our guys between. Position confirmed. Okay, so Orion... Let's multi-target this, and I'm going to go with you, no, you, right, and you, um, oof, Let's switch this to, to chaff. The lupus hasn't gone yet, right? Yeah, let's go this route. Acknowledged. Eh. That didn't hit. Anyway, so if you've saved your design, right, you can save, like, let's say... You know, as many of a different variant as you want. So, like, let's say you've got a Black Knight. You can save, like, different versions of the Black Knight. And then when you click on your Black Knight, go into the mech bay, you click on refit, there should be a little box at the top that says, you know, A, B, C. And you click on A, and it will automatically swap out whatever's in your mech with the actual B variant. And then give you the immediate cost for, for switching it out. That way you don't always have to constantly be building your mechs. So if you have different loadouts, I mean, it would definitely really help for the clans, right? So if you want to quickly swap your build out, you could just quick, you know, click A, B, C, whatever, and it will just swap it out for you. Anyway, that's just a thought. Let's just hammer this guy. We don't really have a great chance to hit, so I'm not going to waste Warlord on this one. Alright, let's see what happens next turn here. Yeah, baby, shoot him down. Spectre, okay. I wasn't expectering that. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a lupus back there. There must it must have just gone hidden. Where are you going? I really hope this is the lighter of the two fights. I'm gonna waste my good lance on a on a lighter lighter mission than this. Okay, he's backing up. Alright. Waiting on you, Commander. You are a tank. Why are you at the back? Oh right, you're slow. Um let's clean this guy up if we can. Okay. And there's more where that came oh, he's got a load of ATMs coming. Don't worry about that. These two guys are nice and tightly packed together, too. Hopefully they don't go... Be well, they're going to be going before the Zeus. Not much I can do about that. But the more they pack themselves together, the better off it's going to be for us. I don't know if I want to drop Inferno on them yet, or if I want to just go AoE damage. Um, yes you are. Let's just move into here. And I think, yeah, you're unstable. Can we, HE should be the same, right? 
Sure is. That's why I love ATMs. Hammer. I'm taking this shot. Goodbye. Mech destroyed. They no longer have the height advantage. Okay, I think our lupus is the uh, next primary target. Let's just move over here. Copy that. Um, yeah, slightly better chances to hit. Uh, he's in the forest. I'm not going to bother uh, warding just yet, but we'll fire everything. Okay, not bad. It's a respectable amount of damage for that turn. Waiting for orders. Um, and let's make sure we don't have... Oh, that thumper. You know what? I keep forgetting that it's got... Um, it's minus two to hit when it's direct fire. Let's make sure there's no mechs between us and them. <sighs> Been there, done that. Um... So, this is going to be a multi again. A and B. B is going to get the LRM. Uh, Narc or Chaff? Narc, probably. Um, yeah, let's go on A. We're really heat efficient on this guy. Should we Warlord this? I don't know. Don't think we need to. Um... I'm going to drop some fast game here too. Let's fire this off. I, I My reasoning for this is I know there's more mechs back here coming into battle. Uh, and I'm sure there was a second lupus. I just don't know where it is. But I'm not going to be... I'm not coming through here. I'm going to have them come to me. So... Ping! Okay, let's see what they do next turn. Ryan's coming back. That second lupus will be back too. Look at the fire. It's crazy. There's that second lupus. Now, I I don't know if he... Yeah, he took 30 damage from the minefield. Okay. We need an AMS on that crab. Maybe we pull out the uh, pulse laser and put an AMS on that thing. Now, I don't know, maybe you guys can answer this question. If I drop multiple minefields in the same location, these actual minefield damage go up. So if I hit this guy with a minefield, let's say, and it spreads it around here, does the minefield in here go up in damage? So rather than 30, it might be 60 next turn? I don't know. He's on fire. And he's taking minefield damage? Okay, good. Yeah, man, group up. Freaking group up, guys. So we're going to drop up some big AoE damage then next turn. Target on that lupus. Come on, Orion. What are you doing? They got three other mechs back there, too. I just don't even know what the, how fast they are or what they are. Come on. As long as things are a little laggy, I know we haven't uh, crashed out here. <laughs> oh, bring it. You didn't move? Probably afraid of the minefield. That's interesting. Here comes the Orion. He's running away. Okay, let's deal with these guys up front. They're really fast. Okay, Raptor 2. Minefield damage 20... What? Oh, 3 points. Okay. Guess he tap danced over the mines. So let's... Hopefully we can rip through that, that uh, Raptor. The Spectre didn't move, but we can hit this guy with good hits with the uh, ATMs, so then we're going to just blow through the side of the Spectre. we got a ping on him, so it makes him a little easier to hit. Plus, I want to see, I'm really interested to see how, oh, it's a dagger, see how this King Crab is going to um, do against one of these 60 tonners relatively close here. Okay. Good to go. We're not going to move very far. We're just going to pull it back here. Get our stability back. Jammed by ECM, but I don't really care. 
Um, we are hot, but that's fine. Pull off one of the medium pulses and let's hammer this guy. Yeah, man. Enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy it while you can. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. <laughs> well, he's going to take it, but I don't think he likes it. I know I keep saying that, but it's just hilarious. Okay, a regular crab. All right. Group up, guys. Group it up. I'm good with that. I never did check how much that chameleon armor... Uh, where are we here? Okay. How much that chameleon armor um, costs to repair? Because I'm sure it costs a lot. All right. right, let's. This is the time we put this guy under. Ah, figures. First hit and he goes down. I know I should have checked the armor in the center torso, but... It's just so much fun watching that. Okay, let's come back here. And let's target... Um, who's easiest to hit? Lupus? Yeah, Lupus is easier to hit. So we're going to go the same route. Um, Thumper's using... What are we using on this one? Normal ammo. Normal's the wide range. This is the tighter... This does more damage, but in a smaller range. Yeah, so that's the one that we want. And let's Warlord this guy. Because why not? Um, but let's... Mu uh, we're not going to multi. Too late, because we can't. Haha! -ha, firing. Enjoy the minefield, boys. Alright, Lanch. Let's... Uh, can we get beside that raptor? We can. So I'm going to go Phantom Mech. Um, we got good range on everybody. Let's get into here. Um, 60. 54, really, eh? That's with the HE, though. 77 with the normal. Let's take this guy out. See ya! You got that right. Three down, five to go. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure. That ballistic build in the king crab. I mean, the potential is like what? 120, 92, 410, 420 damage with the ballistics, right? 420 damage with the ballistics if they all hit, and then the pulses, which do 17. 34, 51, so another 102, so 522 damage potential, plus 10% for Warlord. So that's, and that's not bad, actually. It's not bad. These guys are hot, man. I don't like mechs that run that hot. You know, you get two rounds of firing, and then you're, like, overheated, and then you got to turn off half your weapons or whatever. You know, coming from a guy that loves, you know, energy builds. But I like energy builds that you can at least sustain. That guy's just going to die. Taser me all you want. I ain't going anywhere. Dude, this is like a black knight. You're not going to like... Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Thumper and Arrow are going to go after the uh, Orion now. The Orion. This guy's trying to flank. I don't really care. This guy is for the Black Knight and the King Crab. He's running away. By. Judgment time. On the move. Yep. Uh, let's not go with fast cam. Let's just go with normal arrow. It's AOE, so. Fire. Yeah. I don't really expect that medium pulse to hit. Like I said, it's just a backup weapon. It's not, I mean, whatever. I didn't know what else to put in. Oh, I pissed him off. I think he, maybe he thought he was hidden back there. Uh, 
He's just like, you know, I'll just uh, hide behind here in the trees and I'll be the commander and I'll uh, command everybody from back here. And then he got hit. He's like, oh shit, they can see me. Guess I better get out and fight now. Because, I mean, he could have come up here any time and re just, you know, at least had a half decent flank on us. Forced us to pull back, but he didn't, you know. Like, whatever, man. You do you, buddy. You do you. He's completely unstable. I could do a called shot on his head. Actually, now that I think about it, I think we do have Orion parts. Um, well, since we know who everybody is at this point, let's just get into here. Oh, right, minefield. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's just fry this guy. See ya. Copy that. Sure did. Again. That's three for her now. I'm loving that ATL, ATM build as a flanker mech for sure. Gotta say. Yeah, you're overheating, I think. Uh, you run extremely cool, so I'm not really worried about this. Hammer this guy. Hannibal the cannibal. Uh, just step forward. Lock the Black Knight for me, please. Uh, yeah, please. Um, these aren't bad looking mechs, the Lupus, but I hate the name. See ya. Yeah, that's a reliable build. Alright. I know the I know the Orion was unstable, but I wasn't really worried about shooting at it. At this point, I want to get rid of the guys in front of me. Let's move away from the minefield, please. Just let's not. I'm gonna go through mines. No matter where I go, I'm going through mines because I'm an idiot. Eighteen. If that does it really matter. Seventeen damage. Oh, that's better. Let's move into here. Copy that. I oh, only took 15. See, not that bad, guys. Um. Sure. Scored a critical hit. Christ, maybe I'll just put all make all my max with ATMs. That's just insane. I was un un unclear about. Oh, he's meleeing. Committing suicide. Hi, Dad. You want to see how tough I am? Orders. Roger that. Um, this guy jamming me with ECM probably. Let's just shoot this guy, why not? Well, the other side's all stripped though, so we can do that with the uh, King Crab. Let's just target this guy. I know we're heating up really bad, but it's only because of the T-Semp cannon. That'll stop right after this turn. Alright, where's that dagger going? Or is it the Orion's turn? Oh, he's jumping! Hey, thanks for <laughs> thanks for jumping into AoE damage range. I really appreciate that. I hear ya. Oh, yes. Let's um, vigilance this. Yeah, let's move into here. This guy just committed suicide. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, Commander? I don't like the fact that our... Uh... Alright, as long as I'm not targeting the ground, let's just target the mech for Christ's sake. Don't hit anything else, please. Snark him. We got a ping on him? Yep. Made him unstable. Taking a critical hit. What can I do for you? Let's clean up this Orion, please. Oh yeah. Warlord. 
Let's see if we can take his head clean off. Got lots of chances at it. Eh. Should have gone for the leg. We did hit the head though. He's going down. Have a seat, buddy. Aye, aye. Crab's all yours. You started it, might as well finish it. I'm here. Understood. Fire. No point in using the HE. Might need it for the Orion. Doubt it, but I might need it. Or the dagger, one of the two. I don't know how much this guy took in the head here. The Orion is not becoming... is not uh, forthcoming there with the damage. Ah! Holding for tactical advantage. You don't even need to move. We're going to AOE. Uh, normal arrow ammo. Let's go with Chap just in case he gets up. Firing on target. We got the leg. <laughs> <laughs> I love that laugh. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. Uh, it's getting the open here. On the move. Hey, we should be cooling off now. Ah, not so bad. Um, fuck it. Just do it. There we go. Took his head off. And the dagger's hiding. One left target. Aye, aye. Roger. Yeah, no sensors on. I was hoping to get sensors on. Christ, this feels like a chess game where you're just kind of like moving forward to corner the king. Let's move. Well, at least we get to see how far the king crab can sprint. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Light damage, Commander. Waiting on you, Commander. Get some metal for participation. You know, it's funny. I've had people say to me, you know, people shouldn't get a medal for participation. I gotta tell you right now, um, being on Spectrum and, have a, and having a child on Spectrum, like the autistic Spectrum, the medal for showing up means a huge deal to a kid. Mission successful. For kids that are autistic and can't be around people or can't be around noises and they make the effort to show up even though they do lousy and they're given a mess medal for particip participation to me that says um first of all why the hell is hannibal getting 2000 xp yes i know i'm add too why is she has more xp than everybody else why is she getting i don't understand why she gets more uh anyway um, so if you're on spectrum and you, it, like, I don't think people who can converse normally with other people and understand, you know, metaphor or subtext in human conversation and stuff for people who are autistic, they don't understand any of that. So when they, when they try talking to people, it can be very, very difficult, very difficult. Um, so a kid that's like that, who can't be around people and stuff for them to actually show up and participate is a huge deal any parent who has got an autistic child or anybody who is autistic or on the spectrum knows it's a huge deal right so the fact that they get a trophy for participating for me it says this is encouragement for you to come back out and, and try again right the more they're encouraged to come out, come out of their shell um, and feel like they're accepted the more they'll do it and the better off everyone will be. So that's just my two cents. That's my my thing for today. And we're moving on. Let's get some uh, salvage. Let's see what we can get here salvage-wise. don't think there was a lot. I'm not really interested in mech parts at this point. Oh, we got... F okay. I, I, I say that, but now the, the Orion's like, Hey, you know you want to take me. That way, 
you know, when you get your roll here and you don't get the extra piece, you can be thoroughly disappointed that you didn't take the enhanced imaging and the Clan XL engine and, and everything else that you would normally take. Patchworks are all there. We're almost out of patchwork, too. Talendale brought up a good point. I should be paying more attention to patchwork. And, you know, he's right. Normally I do. Um, but, you know, the fact that it takes up so much space for 0.75 tons is like three slots. Sometimes it's like, yeah, it's hard to justify it. Um, if I'm not using the slots anyway, sure, might as well. But when you're coming down to tr trying to squeeze stuff in, it's like sometimes it just that 0.7 times, 0.75 tons is not worth three slots when you can put something bigger in. Upper energy would be nice. But we're going to go this route, because why not? Eh, we got the, got the last Orion part. Okay, maybe we should try and rebuild our Rack 5 Orion. I can't believe we got the Orion part. Alright. There it is. LR20 to SRM6 launcher. Eh, well, let's just see what it's got on it here. Yeah, 121,000. That's not bad. Could have been way worse. All right. So this is the next bit. Um, what's going on here? Clan Scouts 2. Ah, it's two and a half skulls. Really? Okay, we got one more mission after this one. Um, it's not going to let me check that, eh? All right. All right, who are we sending in here? Two and a half skulls. What do we think? Whatever we send in, um, it sounds like we're getting get, get the uh, clan leader's attention, which means we probably have one more mission after this. So, do we send in two and a half skulls? Though, do we send in a tired lance? We don't have any mechs that we can. Uh, Huh. What do we want to do here? I should just send in Griffin Mockingbird. Could theoretically do it. I don't know if we've got one more mission after this or what. Capture base. Um, I gotta remember too that the the mechs that we bring in might be out of action after this. So let's bring in the mule near for Griff. The black cat. This is the I can't keep remembering. Is this see the uh, that's the Ultra Twenty version. So let's bring in the rack version, and let's bring in the catapult, and we're gonna bring the main lance in. Um, yes, only because if we're tired after this, um, we've got better skills so we can handle that tiredness better, I think. And then the dire wolf and the timber wolf C, like I'm going to, I'll run, I'm going to keep the black cat and the timber wolf, these two back at a distance and just shoot from a distance and try to keep them from being shot at. The Mjolnir will move in, and the Catapult will be targeting from range, but these guys are going to stay at range, too. Alright, let's do this. Do we have to capture it? Can we not just blow it up? Ready for action, Commander. Yeah, we know what your job is. Just stay back here for a second. Got to keep that mech nice and pristine. Um, let's go up this way. Um, don't know if that means there's a lance over there or turrets. Good to go. Stay on the outside. Acknowledge. Well, you know when to bring that rack in. Ready for order. On the move. Yeah. Me and you are the targets. All right, what do we got here? A lacerator. 
Let's go. Oh, shit. That was bad. <laughs> let's go. I was going to say, let's go lacerate his ass. And now it's like, well, maybe not. LRM turret. Sniper turret. Grinner. Uh, what do we got here? A couple of PPCs. So that one should probably go down first. Arctic Cheetah. A couple of Lerms. 300 armor. That's going to die fast. Uh, Lerm turret. A couple of LRMs. Ultra 5s. ER mediums. That's actually not a bad loadout. So these are the only ones. Let's take this PPC turret out. Uh, we got 240 damage. All we have to do is hit it. Uh, but let's multi-target here. And let's hit the Arctic Cheetah with the tag. And fire. Because I'm going to follow up. Hopefully, if we can get a direct line of sight and not be targeted by anybody else, like the turrets. Nice. And let's unload. Um, we got dead fire at 56. Six damage. Well, no, it's only going to be four. Because these are at three. This won't change the damage, but we're going to leave that. Yeah, we'll just fire these. Yeah, they're only threes. We'd only been doing fours of the dead fire, we'd just be wasting ammo. Some heavy you sure did. Now, can we get range on this guy? Anywhere? Anywhere? Acknowledge. Not really, eh? Keep your stick on the ice. Don't get hit. Mockingbird or six pack. If your mechs get hit, you're not coming in next battle. Just telling you. Or if the catapult doesn't get hit, you're going to be the one piloting the catapult. Commander. Commander. Think you can kill that guy? I don't know. I want to risk it. Don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Let's just get around here. Don't know if these guys are going to have reinforcements. The meal near and the catapult should be able to take most of the hits, I think. Vapor Eagle. Alright, not so worried. The lacerator, the lacerator is really the only thing I'm worried about, or the turrets, but... It's really just a lacerator. Once we pull him down, everything also just fall like dominoes. Man, I remember the Grinners we had early in this series. Remember those? They were so awesome. That's it? Ah, yeah, man. Juicy. And uh, Mockingbird was piling one we call the Atticus. That was awesome. Let's just go to four. That should be enough. Especially when we miss once. That turret is gone. With the laser. Alright, let's not move where this Arctic Cheetah can see us, but let's get over here and kill this guy. All weapons are go. See ya! Ooh, I almost made the mistake of saying, hey, maybe we get out of this with no damage at all. <laughs> uh, we know how well that would go. It's when you lose your head. Um, this is the what? The Grinner. I don't like the Grinners. Mjolnir is the one we know we want to have to take damage. So let's make the Grinner less grinny. We're just going to fire on him. Whoa! Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Jesus. You need to fix your armor, buddy. I was going to use the uh, catapult against um, the Arctic Cheetah here, but I think we're going to finish up the Grinner with this guy. Let's see what the Cheetah does.
Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, he's not firing. Um, let's pull back here. Because there's no point in taking damage unless we have to. Maybe we multi. Mm, nope, we don't. We just go after the Grinner. See ya. You are a crater. You are a crater. We got one more turret back here. And then these guys. Hopefully that's all there is here. That last lacerator kind of looks like a vulture. It's one of the other mechs I wanted to get. I know I know the vulture's like 60 tons, but I was hoping to get a vulture because they're kind of cool looking. Oh, he's not shooting. We might be able to kill all of these guys this turn. Just stay back here. Can we get a side shot? We can get a side shot. Well, hello there. Let's burrow through this guy. And fire. Somebody's going down. I bet you did. Oh, he's not going down. Must have been a torso hit. Can you finish him up? I think you probably can. Um, yeah. One less sensor trace. I'm missing the laugh, though. <laughs> it's still the best laugh. Okay, so the Arctic Cheater will take the Lerms. And hopefully we can pull the head off the Lacerator. Ah, he's hiding. Uh, not enough, though. Not hiding enough. I don't know if they can see us. That's the thing. I don't know if they can see us. See, see if we can pull the head off this guy. Nope. Nah, I couldn't get that lucky. Hope this hurries up. I think I got dinner in a minute. Okay, Cheetah, what are you doing? I got some lerms for you. All we need to do is get a sensor in that turret, and then we can take it out with the Lerms. Man, those four LRM-20s. That's punishment if they can get a good target on you. Ah, oh, shit, don't shoot my, uh... Who are you shooting? Oh, you fucker! God damn it! That's it, six-pack, you get to pilot the catapult. Commander. Somebody's getting oh, some dead fire! Let's warlord it, just because I'm upset at this person now. Sorry buddy, but goodbye. Face full of lerms. Don't get shot at. Get back here. Copy that, Commander. Receiving you. You, get to re you get the retreat of shame. Get back here. Shame, shame, shame. Well, it's not really your fault you got hit, though. Um. We won't, oh, we're lose sensor trace on him. That's why. Oh, God. Really? All right, well. Eyes on. Eh, enjoy this. His AMS hit three of them at least. Helped you a little bit. I'm not messing with this guy. Um, oh, forget it. Let's just do this. Why do I do this? <laughs> we hit his head. Only works if you got someone that can shoot him.
Oh, you hit the catapult. Well, that's up for next battle. Crap. That means we gotta keep the mule near back. It's all yours. Have a seat. Uh, you got light weapons, don't you? You got a few lights, so let's, um, do this. Let's go after the head, because why not? Yes! What, you weren't going to admonish me for, uh... Yeah, probably not. I got a feeling we're getting a, uh... Second wave of guys here. Got it. Oh, still can't get the turret, eh? Yeah. We've already taken damage. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. So yours. These Mockingbird followed orders. Base defenders might not be patrol. Oh god, really? Ah. I got a feeling they're back here. But we might as well, s these guys should say sensor neutral as best as possible. Gotta get the Caterbrawler up there. Understood. Moving fast. Let's take the stink and base. Alright. Pacify the area around the base. Let's get up over here. This might be it. This might be it. I don't know. It sounds like it probably will be. Standing by. I do not see anybody. Yes, Commander. Acknowledge. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. It'd be cool, Darius, if you could put them on the map. Because, you know, you picking up sensor traces doesn't equate to us picking up sensor traces. And that's painful. Come on, guys. Don't crash on me. We're chugging, so they're chugging. Sounds like I got dinner in a second. Let's finish this matchup. I'm going to pull... If there is one more, more mission after this, I will pull it off today. I'll just have to go eat and come back. Man, I'm, I just want to get back into playing Battletech regularly again, but having such a hard time. Smash. 11 ton smash. Aries fire support. <laughs> this better not be the command lance, because if it is, uh, I'm going to be quite upset. Okay, what else do we got here? Phoenix Hawk, and the, oh god. Can't be commanders. What's up, boss? Moving out. Griff the stiff. Alright, as long as we stay out range with those two guys, we should be okay. Let's rain some death down. Where's this where's the sandwich? Don't know. Um All right, fire truck, fire support truck, fire support tank, whatever it is. Just don't want that to be a Gen 2C with all the light machine guns. Not only does that thing strip armor, it does a lot of headshots. It's one thing I hate about that Gen 2C. 
Okay. Commander? Let's see if we can get some eyes on. Or lasers on, anyway. Sure can't hear, so let's hammer this guy. Alright, Grip, see if you can finish this guy up. Oh god, why can you see him and I can't? How does that even work? How does that work? My god, how does that work? Yeah, I'm running the risk of uh, getting shot here, but... Or we could just shoot his head off, that works. I'm guessing that's what happened. Guessing that's what happened. Okay, six packs should be able to wipe out this pike vehicle. Most likely. It was a pike, right? No, Ares. <laughs> Fire support. Commander. Um, or we want the Jenner. It's actually pretty damn good with the rack. Let's just do that. Moving to position. Got the warlord. Let's get it up and running. And let's wind this sucker up because we haven't done it yet today. Yeah. Solid connection on that one. You bet. Yes, Commander. It's because you're a solid pilot. Oh. Three damage, eh? Well, uh, let's go with more hits. Twos with more hits. Goodbye. Roger. Hostile eliminated. You got that right. Okay, the mechs are down. Let's wipe these vehicles out and go home. And hopefully that's the end of this mission. Although I'd like to fight at least a tough lance. Although I think I got, I gotta say, it was nice to not take the dire wolf and the other, um, the other timber wolf, just because it's a little bit more of a challenge this way. I mean, not much more, but a little bit more. I think the dire wolf. Well, maybe I don't, trying to get the dire wolf not to get hit in the battle would probably be a, a tough way to do it. Okay, Pike's gonna drop some lerms on you. No, Pike. Oh, sorry, sorry, the air. <laughs> I keep calling it the Pike. It's gonna um, target the meal near. Told ya. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, okay, I targeted it. Never mind. Damage is light. I was like, just for a second there, I was like, oh, I was right. I was right, but I wasn't. All right, let's kill this guy with extreme prejudice. Hopefully, that was the commander's vehicle. Reporting enemy vehicle removed. Reporting ghost bear commander removed. All right, firing. All right. Just so you know, I have no malice toward Clan Ghost Bear. It's a game. We all we all choose our sides. We all make our fight. I just happen to be on the losing side, and that's fine. I don't care. Mission successful. The thing I will say about that about that map, though, uh, I love how they set it up because even if you even if you choose a side, let's say, and your side gets completely wiped out, you just take take a different side. Who cares? Right, you can just continue to continuously fight on whatever side you want. Doesn't matter, even if it came down to like everything being occupied by one group only, you'd still be able to take you know missions for pirates or whatever. So it's one of the things I love about this game. All right, um, yeah, man, that's actually pretty even. No experience though. All right, um, don't want any of that stuff, man. Uh, how many ER PPCs do we have? We, we don't have any backups. So let's take one of those. Um, and we got Ultra 5 clans now, but we got a bunch of these still. We got four of them. I was trying to make a huge Ultra 5 build in the King Crab, but without reduce, reducing the engine down to really low. Like, I could get four of them on there, and then it was that was it. I really couldn't do much else. Let's take one of those, because we don't have any XL engines right now. Um, what else? Yeah, you know, I did try. I was hoping to put like um, 
five or six uh, AC5s on there, but it just it just did not work out. Uh, LRM ammo, AMS ammo, Ultra 5 ammo. We still got lots of Ultra 5 ammo. There's not much here. Let's just take, uh, it doesn't really matter. Clan double heatsink kit, probably. It's the most expensive, 3.5 mil. Sure. All right. There it is, folks. A couple Phoenix Hawks parts, three lacerator parts, medium pulse, Artemis fire control system, double heatsink, clan. Yeah, we didn't get anything really crappy except for the machine gun ammo and the jump jet. Well, Sarkinis took Sarkinis back from Mark. Well, that's kind of nice. 22,000 repairs. Not, not, that's like nothing. High orbit. These guys are packing some serious tech. Is that it? It's just a made-up title. Not sure about that. Really? Think of duct tape, Yang. The duct tape! What does he want? Something called Zelbringen. Honorable combat to the death. One-on-one. -on -one. Can we trust them? Of course we can't. Look up for reinforcements either way. It could make the whole thing easier. One-on-one. -on -one. Well, you know what? We are clan, and if it is clan, we're going to go with a duel. Keep scanning for traps. It's always going to be a freaking trap. He just hasn't seen my dire wolf yet. Alright, guys. i got to take a break for a second and go grab some dinner. Oh, it's a two and a half skull. Well. <sighs> do this in a second when I come back. For you guys, it'll be like, you know, a quick edit. For me, it's going to be dinner, so I'll be back in a bit. And I'm back. All right, so let's go with Full Savage. And we're going to bring in, hey, Direwolf. And, well, Griff's going to stay in. He's tired, but, you know, eights across the board, still pretty good. Let's deploy and get this sucker done. Wants to go mono a mono? We'll go mono a mono. Ah, crap a pult, eh? Alright. Let's see if this guy's even able to spot me. Somehow I highly doubt it. Enough height here. Ah, we gotta move forward. All right. Catapult. That's a pretty good Mac, I think, for two and a half skulls. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, it's our chance to hit here. He's got two ER PPCs and two LRM 20s. Eh? That's a pretty good loadout. No idea we got a head hit on him. Stop the camera guy. Stop the camera guy. Oh, we did get a head hit. Got the resolve, might as well use it. This is not much of a battle. Still gonna OP that head. Going down. Yeah. Warning. Heat 
It's got to stand back up again. Oh, look at that. It's a heart-shaped fire. He just loves me. All right, let's do this. Oh, come on. I want that head. Ah, uh, I think that was a torso. What's up, guy? Welcome to the jungle. Well, this is certainly going to end very quick. Wow. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. There it is, folks. Wow, that was entertaining. Nah, not quite. Alright. You know, something was telling me I should have gone full C-Bills on that, but I was like, well, if I get one Klein XL engine, and, you know... We'll get our money back for it. Oh, he's, that would be nice. But we're one in the series down. Let's grab... Uh, oh, there's the Klein XL engine. Eh, 340. Sure, why not? There we go. There's our C-bills. Plenty. Yeah, let's see what else we get. Oh, we got four Klein 2 Cs. That's not bad. What else? Pharaoh? Eh, double heat sink. Okay, not bad. I think that should be it, I think. Uh, looking at our wounds for a while. Not really. Huh. Stop taping the latest loot together, eh? What loot? Well, we do. Yeah, we got the Orion. That's right. Let's crack open that loot box at least. Let's check it out. Maybe there's a whole mech in that loot box. Medium VSPL. Are you kidding me? A mad dog. <gasps> Did I not just say I wanted one of those guys? That's like a vulture, isn't it? Is that not the vulture? That's a whole mech, isn't it? That's a whole mech. And a Jenner? Are you kidding me? We've is that we got a piece of a fire starter. And a, are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, I'll take that. You got that right, nine hundred thousand, plus the. I, I can't believe that. that mech you wanted is back online. Pair of ATM twelves, ER mediums, medium pulse lasers, ER. Well, that's pretty cool. That mech you asked. The Jenner D. We're gonna just gonna trash that sucker. I'm pretty sure that's the vulture. The Mad Dog. I think that's the name of the or. Is it the name of the vulture? I can't remember now. Let's have a look at the mech base here. So we're 1.7 million, but I think we're gonna we'll be okay. We're gonna be okay with all these mechs in here. Well, let's just scrap the Jenner first. Um, yeah, we're not gonna get much for that. That's fine. Yeah, that's the vulture. Look at this thing, man. It's pretty cool. Let's change the color scheme on it first. That's not bad. That's number two. Three. and eh, not so much. I think if it was Arctic Cheetah, that's the one I'd be going for. This is a little technical. Actually, that's not too bad either. And eh, standard camo. Let's go back to this number five. Let's use number five. Why not? There we go. Cool. I wish you could pan around these, but whatever. Looks fine. And what do we got here? What do we got on you? It's an Omni, right? Yeah. Pair of ATMs. H-E-E-R. Don't think we need the ERs on there. The heat sinking is like shit on this thing. Look at this. Well, we can... Uh, we can make some immediate upgrades on this guy. 
Uh, so let's do that. Let's go here. Um, let's grab, what do we got patchwork wise? We don't got much left. I want to, I think I'm going to pull out the, um, these are 12s, eh? I'm going to pull out the ERs. I don't, know, I don't like, I mean, it is, they are greater range, plus 90% to all range brackets, but when are we ever shooting at that range, though? Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so let's see what else we can do here. Um, Weight-wise, uh, let's, first of all, uh, I'm floundering here, grab some more ammo. I mean, it's not bad, it's, it's like 10 turns each. Um... We do have more HE ammo and regular ammo. Hmm, let me think about that for a minute. This is regular case enabled. We don't have case two, which means we'd have to get case two. I think we've only got one clan case two left. Um, so let me think about this. This is actually not a bad I think I want to pull the pulses as well. Put the double heat sink in the leg. Um, I've already got the plus two E cooling. Heat efficiency is going up. We got a, um, let's do this first too. Uh, let's grab the patchwork because we're probably most likely going to need patchwork in this guy. So let's do that. Wait, not that. This. Wait, this is a half ton? I thought I had a quarter ton. That doesn't really matter. Let's do this. Uh, I'm just splitting the sides up because if I get one side destroyed, uh, I don't want to lose both patchworks at the same time. I could deal with a little loss of one, but not the loss of two. Um, I wish we had a uh, Protect Double heat, heat Sink Kit available. We have Clan Exchanger, which probably should not go in the CT. Let's put it over here. Um, I have a Nova CWS. I wish we did. Heat sinking is still getting better. Heat bank getting even better. I think we need more ammo though. Which means patchwork's got to go in the arm, which is dangerous, but. Um, got five tons here. Wow, the armor's terrible. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, we got one ton left then. Something like that, probably. Yeah, we got one ton left. Well, let's just drop in some uh, ATM ammo. A little extra ammo. It's not going to hurt us at all. That'll give us like 12 and a half turns of firing. I mean, it's rare that we ever go that long, but... Actually, you know what? Ah, man. Do I want to do that, or do I want to put another laser in here? Hmm. We had a clan heat bank. I used it though. I used a clan heat bank. Uh, we don't even have like cockpit mods or anything on this thing. Uh, so let's do some of that first too. Um, increased crit hit chances, increased range. What's the range on these guys? 530. What's the range on this? 540, put the same range. Um, don't have much left here. We got tracker sensors, Let's put those in. That'll help. Um, how many part lower arm can't be used? To
Huh. As you do, add a lower arm actuator. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I think I'd be reading that more often. Um, yeah, let's go with the slick suite. And then... Um, could go with the clan, clan fire control system. These guys don't have recoil, do they? No. Um, not that it matters. 10% dual range brackets, that's handy. Yeah, let's put the advanced fire control system in. That's two tons though, so I mean we gotta, that uses up our ton. Alright, let's go that route. 300,000. We'll get, we'll get a chance to run this. Nice. And the Orion 2C, let's see what's left of that thing. I know this is a long episode, but I haven't recorded in a while, so let's have a look at this guy. Just going to get him repaired. I don't think we'll do anything else to him today. So let's repair all. Oh, we got TTS weapons in him. Nice. Improved fire control. Max out the armor, which is already maxed out, it looks like. Um, you know what? We got the sea bills. Let's just do this. Um, Clan XL engine. Which means we can't sell this one. We got to hang on to it for now. Gonna need a core in this guy. Uh, we want him to be fast or not. Um, we only got one XL gyro. Well, this is our broken one. Let's fix that. Might as well get that up and running. Um, where is the core? It's down at the bottom here. I know I didn't put in um, case in the last mech. Uh, 320, I think, probably. No, wait, 75, 300 is probably the perfect size. And that gives us speed 5.8, I believe. Yeah. Um, now, the question is, do we have... I wish we had clan racks, but we don't. Um, let's see if we can get that rack build built back up again. Run that once more before the series ends here. Ultra 5s. I mean, we could put four Ultra 5s on instead. Oh, we can't because we don't have the ballistic hard points. That's right. ER large can come off. SRM4 can come off. Uh, leave the weapon, TTS weapons. We do two racks. No, I'm not putting the pirate rack on. Um, in which case... Okay, where's our ammo now? Rack 5 ammo doubles. And that's how many rounds? 30 something? 34. It's 5 turns at max for the rack. I don't know. I, mean, I don't think we need all that much. Well, that's, well, that's all we have. <laughs> It'll have to do, I guess. 15 shots. So, yeah, I mean, if we're cautious with the ammo, we should be. That's like 49 rounds each. That's like, what, 8 turns at max firing? So it's still not bad. What's our cooling like? This will be pretty good, right? So yeah, 72, 36, but it'll be a little hotter with the racks wind up. Not much hotter. Not much hotter. All right, that's not bad. Now we've got a little bit of weight left. Um, do we have a, uh, we have a regular AMS? Do we have a... Don't have a laser AMS, do we? We don't have a half ton of AMS ammo. What do we got in the store here? Anything? Didn't check the store. Went right into the fight. All right, what do we got in the store? Sorry it's taking so long, guys, but this is kind of fun for me right now. IATM ERs. Oh, rack five doubles. Yes, please, buy that. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, rack two, sniper ammo, ultra auto cannon five, ammo safe. We got three of these already, don't hear that. Um, yeah, we don't have any, uh, no ATM ammo. All right, well, couldn't expect that. 
All right, so we, we just go without an AMS for now. Um, Laser-wise, what else do we put on here? There's no way to gain extra tonnage because we've used up all of our um, patchwork materials. XL gyro's already in. We got these two in already. We need an ECM still. We got to figure out what we're doing for the cockpit too. Um, let's put the ballistic in. Oh right, I can't because we'll lose the TTS weapons. Right. Just put in the regular clan. That's the regular. Wait, where's the regular uh, improved clan cockpit here? Improved. Oh, it's uh, down here. I gotta remember it doesn't go back into the uh, into here. What's this say? One or more locations that are destroyed. Not anymore. Let's pull uh, this. What side am I usually getting destroyed? The right side, right? Let's pull this side out then. And let's go with... Um, where is that? Rack 5. Actually, pull both of these out. Um, where's my double load? Probably already passed it. You're like, ah, it's, you're past it. No, it's right here. Okay, cool. So that's 90, 102 rounds now. 102 divided by 6. Quick, anybody? Anybody? Um, 42 divided by, it's like 1, 2, 3, it's like 9, about 9.5 nine turns of firing at 6 rounds per shot, which we won't be doing. So it's, I don't know. Do we need to go this route? Uh, probably not. Probably going to have more than enough going this route. I want to split the ammo up because if we lose a side, then we, I mean, we lose the arm, obviously, but we don't like if we lost this side we lose a ton of ammo and I don't re I don't remember like it doesn't strip ammo equally off one, each side I think it starts on the right and moves to the left uh, anyway we'll do that and then we need an ECM of some type what do we got here for that just a regular guardian one ton plus one defense against getting hit probably let's drop it in the CT for now uh, let's grab our clan case two. We've got two of them. Okay, I thought we only had one, but I guess we picked up one somewhere. One on each side, perfect. That's going to really, really help out. And we got half a ton left. Um, you know, we don't even need this e-cooling in here. Right? And a double heat sink we don't need. Two and a half tons. So if we put, we could just put a couple of ER mediums if we have them. Do we have them? I don't think we do. Let's have passed them here. Now we don't even have ER medium lasers left. We ran out of so much gear. Can we get two and a half tons out of this guy? Probably not. Now we don't, we're sure we don't have any, uh, yeah, we don't. Urgh. This is a perfect time for uh, patchwork materials. We just don't have it. Um, all right, so if we don't go that route for weapons... I mean, we could go with a couple of LRM-5s and a half a ton of ammo. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else we could do. ATM-3 is what, two tons? One and a half tons and a ton of ammo. Which will be 20 turns of firing. This one's probably damaged. No, why? Oh, these are improved ATM-3s. What's the difference? Two evasion pips ignored. 50% chance to do a critical hit. 
540 range, 540 range. Three different types of ammunition. Integrated Artemis fire control system. What is the difference? Heat seven, heat seven. Stability is the same. Minimum range, 120, 120. I don't see any difference between these two. Um, maybe it's the ammo? Shows you how much I use ATMs. Although I'm becoming a believer after that um, exterminator. ATM Inferno, improved ATM Inferno. Maybe that's why. Maybe it uses extra ammo. Proved ATM ER. We don't really have anything else other than that. Uh, You know what we do? Go down here and we cry because we sold off all our frickin' LRM5s. I sold them thinking, I'm never gonna use an LRM5. Why would I wanna keep that? Ah, maybe because at some point I'll need two of them? <laughs> I could put three SRM2s in. Or a four and a two. I don't know. I wish I had a couple of ER mediums. That's all I wanted is a couple of ER mediums. You know? How much more can a guy ask for? Just a pair of ER mediums? You know? Got a regular laser AMS we could throw in here, I guess. Yeah, might as well. Let's throw it on this side. Uh, and a tag, maybe. Actually, what kind of lasers do we have for one ton? Medium improved heavy, just in case something closes with us. 35 heat though, man, that's just... We're not gonna have any other one tonners, except for like an ER small or something. That's a half a ton. ER small pulse. We throw the medium improved heavy in just in case. I mean, the heat efficiency will drop, but it's not like we're going to use it. No, I think we need a range run because these are what? What's the range on this? 600 meters. Like, we're better off using something that's got longer range. And I, I sold the Intersphere <laughs> ER mediums too. What's the range on this? 400? 330. It's like nothing. BSPL is four tons. That's going to get sold. I don't know, man. I really don't know. One ton. Let's just drop a tag in. Screw it. Tag her up. Put it on this side. Why not? 2.9 million. That's not bad. 17 days. So I think what... You know, I, I kind of had fun playing that... Um, that flashpoint. And a bunch more flashpoints had popped up on the map when I was traveling... So I'm thinking, that's what we do. We spend time doing some flashpoints. We're going to make 900,000 at the end, right? So that's like almost, an, well not almost enough, it's like half our financial report. And we should easily be able to make enough out of the salvage out of them, right? Let's go to the star map, let's see what's around us. See if we've got anything good here. Yeah, there's a few, it's like Federated Commonwealth here. What what level is this? Eh. Limited gladiator combat, no thank you. This one expires in 21 days, 24 days to get there, so we can't do that. Ah, uh, what's up here? Expires in six days, meh. Medium drop, ah man, really? We're gonna get screwed on all this stuff. Two and a half skulls. Well, I guess we gotta find guys to fight then, cause not a lot of good flashpoints here. Oh, this is a long one. 
long and hard battle against two. Abandoned. Consecutive deployments, long engagement length. Long and hard at five skulls. This would be nice, but. You know, I think it was uh, Fist of Dorn that suggested I should uh, pick up the next series where these ones, these guys kind of left off. And maybe as the last, how many days to this is done? Uh, 99 and 36 days to get there. So maybe we, we'll make our way there. And then when the new DLC drops and stuff, um, we'll finish up the series, but we'll make this our last mission and see what happens. If we, if we, if we kill it, if we do great, then fantastic. But if we don't, the thought then would be that, um, we take such a hard beating, um, the Argo gets damaged. We've got to sell off parts in the Argo. And we start over again um, with a, like a new crew, new Lance, and maybe, a, I don't know, maybe a bunch of our pilots die. We'll see. But we'll have to see how it goes, and we just start over again starting here. And, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a thought. So we'll see how it goes, all right? Um, got a few more episodes left before we hit 100. Um uh, I'm sure we'll go past 100 before this series ends, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a long one, uh, but definitely enjoyable for me to play. Um, we're going to probably just between episodes jump to a four or five skull planet in Ghost Bear territory, take on some missions there, make some sea bills while we're getting our other mechs here up and running. Should probably manage our tasks a bit better here. Um, I want to run that vulture, see how it goes. Uh, let's bring up the Orion. I want to get that back in 17 days. So let's do that first. Um, then let's bring up... Where is that mad dog? Let's bring that guy up because I want him done. Right? Okay. Then let's ming make sure our main lance gets fixed. So let's bring up the Timberwolf. So that's the main lance. Then the secondary lance is the Zeus the Exterminator, and the Black Knight, and the King Crab. So let's bring the King Crab up first. So that'll be... Twelve... Eleven... This guy will go in the middle bay, and this guy will go in this bay. So thirteen days... Fourteen days... 14 days for everything but the Orion to come back. Then the Orion will be back three days after that. Okay, that's perfect. Cool. So we'll be partway through the next month. We'll have 20 days, 21 days left till the end of the month. We'll have enough to pull off some good missions. So 14 days. We'll find a find a good planet within 14 days of here. Uh, pick up some missions for next episode. All right? So I'm leaving it there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. It's really nice to see a whole bunch of new people commenting. Go ahead, comment away. I love comments. It's awesome. Good or bad, I don't really care. Be super critical or be super positive. Either one doesn't matter to me. All right? Until next time, we'll see you all later.